Alright, welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host Larry, and we're back for another YouTube tutorial talking about how to do research on what sorts of tags other people use for their videos so you can get a good idea of how to tag yours so that they can be the most effective. So when you're on YouTube, one of the best ways to get found when you're in the search is to have the most relevant tags, but it's not always obvious what those tags should be. So one of the ways that you can find out is by grabbing the URL of a video that's in your genre and seeing what tags they use. Now, once upon a time, it used to be that when you loaded into a video, it would tell you what tags they use at the bottom of the video. Now it's things like what song is playing. Sometimes people like to overly embed tags at the bottom of their video description, which is like tag stuffing. And you're not supposed to do that and it actually gets you in trouble, but they don't show you that anymore. And the easy way to get around that is to just use a tool because YouTube has got a uniform A or API that allows people to grab data and it's not against the rules. So you'd go and you'd Google something like how to a YouTube video tag viewer to tell what tags are on a video. And then on one of these sites, you just paste in the URL of a video, do whatever sort of uh, capture thing that they have to prove that you're not a bot. And then here you can see an idea of what they use for tags. Now, I'm not sure if any of these tag generators or tag grabbers We'll show you all of the tags because this doesn't seem like nearly enough stuff because you can have up to 500 characters in one set of tags, but this is a good idea to help get you started. And so this one's onlinefreetools.com. I'll put a link to some of these in the video description if you're interested in trying them for yourself. And then they do things like make it so that you can grab and use these yourself in your own videos but I always recommend thinking about what your video is about and making sure your tags are tailored to your video. Don't just copy other people's tags. It's lazy. It's not as accurate as thinking about them and making them specific to your video, so on and so forth. And no single one of these tools is a one size fits all. They all have drawbacks. They're all free, which means that sometimes they break and they don't always work. So, you know, just Google them, use which ones are valuable to you. And let's say you are making a music video for free music. So let's just go to one of these. This is a keyword tool. Let's just say free music. Uh, no copyright sounds. And then you can hit enter. And this keyword tool IO, which I have used before, will help to generate some keywords to help give you an idea of what is useful to you based upon what you're trying to keyword. Now, some of these want you to buy a pro version now, which kind of sucks, but there's other tools like this one, Better Way to Web, where you could say like, uh, no copyright sounds, free music. All right, well, apparently that tool doesn't work anymore for whatever reason, but there's definitely different tools out there that let you find and get an idea of what tags to use. And you can easily Google them in a couple of seconds. That's an easy way to figure out what other people are using for tags and some recommendations. Now, there's a lot of services out there that give you the ability to view what other videos are using for tags what their metrics are and all of that. But most of that information is available to you for free through other free ad supported tools. So there's honestly no reason to use your money on those sorts of tools when if you're only gonna check out a couple of videos, just use these free tools and they'll make your life a lot easier, especially when figuring out how to tag things, how you wanna tag things and doing research about given genres on YouTube. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.